Today we'll have a dynamic yoga. It's um, it's more active than the usual yoga practice, and we'll focus on all parts, all major parts of our body. Let's start. You may have. Uh, for now, we don't need the block, but in case you need something to hold on, uh, just have a wall close by. Let's sit on our mats. Cross the right shins over the left. Sit tall if you need a block or a blanket to sit on to make your knees comfortable. You are welcome to do so. You may start closing your eyes if it's accessible. If not, opening your eyes are also welcome. Let's slowly breathe in through the nose, up to the top of your chest. Hold the breath and slowly release the breath through your mouth making a soft sound. Two more times, inhaling through the nose, exhale through the mouth, just to release all the tension that you feel. Inhale, exhale. On the next inhalation or on the next breath, cycle of breath, inhale and exhale through your nose. Inhale slowly, filling up your belly, sides of the ribs, top of the chest, hold the breath, and slowly exhale through the nose, and hold after completely exhaling out. Do it several times until you get the rhythm of your breath, evening out the breath, May count three on your inhalation and on exhalation. Keeping the breath fluid. Notice if there's still tension on your body. If you feel that there's resistance, make a deep inhalation. And as you exhale, focus on that resistance or your that certain body part of yours that is still contracting. And exhale, lightening the, constra the contraction, lightening the resistance, building the breath. And still with those eyes, bow down the head. Feel the stretch on your back. Allowing the tailbones or the sitting bones to ground more on the mat. Keeping the spine straight. Inhale and lift your sternum, lift the head, lift the crown towards the sky. Collarbones are spreading wide. One more deep breath. And as you exhale, lean your left ear to your left shoulder, feeling the stretch on the right side of the neck. Maybe stretch the right arm to the side. And slowly as you inhale, Turn your palms up towards the ceiling, and as you exhale, turn the palms down towards the ground. Two more times, inhale, turn the palms up, and exhale, turn the palms down, grounding the right sitting bones more. Inhale, last one, turn the palms up, exhale, turn the palms down. And you may rest your palms onto the mat or on top of your knee. Inhale, head back to center. And exhale, lean the right ear to your right shoulder, feeling the stretch on the left side of your neck. Focus 
on the breath. Let's breathe here. And on the next inhalation, you may extend, maybe extend the left arm on this side. Inhale, turn the palms up. And exhale, turn the palm down. Two more times. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Last one. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Release the left palm onto your left knee or on the side of your mat. From here, bring your head back to center. Open your eyes. Lift both knees up. Bring your feet together. And from here, open your knees wide. Hold on to your feet. Keep pressing your feet against each other. Keep the spine straight. Lengthen the spine. Lift the sternum and your crown towards the sky. Spreading your shoulders wide. Feeling that your Shoulder blades are pressing a little bit towards the chest, lowering down your knees towards the ground. Let's breathe here and release. From here, let's just have some twist. Cross the right chin over the left. Inhale, lift the arms. And as you exhale, turn the trunk towards the left. Rest the right palm on top of your left knee. And rest the left arm at the back. Let it stay on the fingertips. Allowing the left elbow to bend. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Ground all of your sitting bones. And as you exhale, twist to the left or turn to the left. You may gaze on the side, and if you want more, one more deep inhalation, and as you exhale, twist further to the left. You may gaze at your left shoulder. Keep lowering down the knees. On the next inhalation, look forward, back to center. Other side, inhale, lift the arms, as you exhale, turn the trunk to the right. Rest the left palm on top of the right knee. Rest the right palm at the back. Let it stay on the fingertips. Slightly bending the right elbow. Lengthen the spine. Ground all of your sitting bones. Inhale. And as you exhale, turn to the right. You are welcome to stay here if you want more. Inhale. One more time, and turn on the next exhalation, gazing at the right shoulder or gazing onto the side. Inhale, look forward, release back to center. Now let's stay on our tabletop. Bring your palms down. Look at your palms. Your pointer finger is pointing forward. It also helps you with your elbows as you, when the pointer fingers are pointing forward, once you bend the elbows, the elbows, when, they, when the elbows bend, they also point towards the back. It's not pointing on the side when you bend them. It's not pointing on the side or not, it's not pointing inwards. It should be pointing straight back. Okay. Tabletop. Rest the palms onto the mat. So from here, rest the palms onto the mat. Point your finger forward. Pressing on the mound of your thumb. And then spread your fingers wide. Inhale, roll your up torso until your shoulders land on top of your wrist. And then your hips on top of your knees. Adjust your knees to hip width wide. Let's have some cat and cows. Lift the tailbone, drop the belly, drop the ribs. Lift the sternum, spread the collarbones wide. Lift the chest, lift the chin. Head is the last one to come up. Inhale. This is your cow. And as you exhale, tuck your tailbone towards the navel. 
Press the navel towards the spine. Press the chest towards the shoulder blades and tuck your chin towards the chest. Head the last one to come down. This is your cat. Two more times. Inhale, belly, uh, tailbones up, belly down. Lift the chest, lift the chin. Feeling the tilting of your spine. Exhale, tailbone in. Press the navel towards the spine. Tuck the chin towards the chest. Your back is arching. Cow. Pressing from your palms more. One more time. Inhale, lift the tailbone. Drop the belly, lift the chest. Collar bones are spreading wide. Exhale, tailbone in, navel in, chin towards the chest. Pressing from the palms, arching the back. On the next inhalation, look forward. Keep the back flat, maintaining the navel towards, pressing towards the spine. So this is your neutral spine. Notice the feeling when your back is tilted and notice the feeling when your back is arched. From there, you will feel you will feel the difference when your back is flat and in its neutral position. We'll come to our first downward facing dog. Tuck your toes. Keep, keep the alignment of your palms. Lift the knees off of the ground. Lift the hips towards the ceiling. You're welcome to slightly bend the knees. Contract the quads to keep the knees straight. If the back of your leg is too tight or hurting, you're welcome to slightly bend the knees. You're also welcome to walk your feet wider. And from here, your, the goal is to lower down the heels towards the ground. Let's have some leg stretch. Inhale. And as you exhale, bend the right knee. Drawing the right thigh towards the chest, extending the left leg. Inhale, extend the right leg. Exhale, bend the left knee. Let's switch again. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend the right knee, pressing onto the chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend the left knee, pressing the thigh towards the chest. Last one. Inhale, extend the right leg, pressing the thigh towards the chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, extend both legs and come to your downward facing dog. Lifting the hips towards the ceiling, pressing all of your finger knuckles, spread the collarbones wide. Check your feet. The sides of your feet are parallel to the sides of your mat. Inhale, look forward, roll your torso until your shoulders land on top of your wrist. You may slide your feet back, lower down the hips, keep the belly in. This is your plank. One more time, exhale, downward facing dog, lifting the hips towards the ceiling, rolling your feet towards the ground. Inhale, one more time, shift to your plank, Belly in, lower down the hips, open the hips, contract the quads, press the quads towards the ceiling, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, walk your feet toward, walk your hands towards the feet, sorry my bad. You are welcome to slightly bend your knees, allow the head and the back to roll down towards the ground. Hands are just dangling onto the side. You may turn your palms down, turn the palms up, 
and have some wrist stretch, extend the arms, and have a little weight on your wrist. Halfway lift, inhale, lift the torso halfway. You may hold on to your shins, keeping the back flat, spreading the collarbones wide. One more time. Exhale, folding. You may hug your, hold your calves, putting more weight on the base of your toes, slightly bending the knee if this is not get ready to straighten up. Tilting or lifting or adjusting your hips over your ankles. One more time, halfway lift, inhale, weights placed on the base of your toes, exhale, fold, and inhale, press more on your heels this time, bending the knees, and slowly rolling the spine, feeling the vertebra rolling on top of each other. And come up to standing. Tadasana. Okay, let's start with sun salutation. Five sun salutation. From there, we'll proceed with our dynamic yoga. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven poses. For Tadasana, toes together, heels are slightly apart, spread all of your toes, press the outer ankles in. If this is not comfortable, you can adjust your feet to hip width wide, aligning the sides of your feet with the sides of your mat. They are parallel with each other. So it means you're Heels are a little bit outwards, and then your toes, the middle of your toes are inwards. Half sun salute, two times. Lift the kneecaps, track your knee with your second toe. Contract the thighs, press them back. Open your frontal hip bones. Belly presses towards the spine. Front ribs knit in, collar bones spreading wide. Turn your palms forward. Inhale, lift the arms up. As you lift your arms, rest, relax the traps, spread the collarbones, pull your arms towards your shoulder socket, and turn your palms in. Triceps are rolling in towards the midline. This is your Urdhva Hastasana. As you exhale, swing your arms down, folding from the hips, Pressing onto the mound of your toes. You're welcome to bend the knees, slightly bend the knees. Rest your palms onto the calves or rest the palms onto the sides of the feet. Allow the back and your head to roll down towards the ground. Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Lift your torso halfway. Inhale. You're welcome to let the palms come up on the fingertips, flat back, roll your shoulders back, or you may hold on to your shins. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold to your Uttanasana, pressing from the heels, slightly bending the knees, slowly roll up, swing your arms up towards the sky. Collar bones are spreading wide, relax the traps. Outer arms are rolling in towards the midline, or Vahastasana, exhale, hands on the side. Last one, inhale, reach the arms up, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, Uttanasana, inhale, roll up. Ardha Uttanasana, eh, Urdha Hastasana, exhale, hands on the side. Sun Salutation A. Let's do it five times. I'll have some modifications on the first two. The third will be a full Sun Salutation. 
you are welcome to follow which sun salutation feels more better or feels good on your body. Tadasana. Inhale. Urbhastasana. Exhale. Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale. Exhale. Rest the palms down on the sides of the feet. Prepare the palms. Pointer finger pointing forward. Bending both knees. And step the right foot back. Followed by the left. You may slide your feet back to plank. Keeping the shoulders on top of your wrist. Lowering down the hips. Open the front of hip bones. Inhale. Lean forward. You may rest your knees down. Untuck your toes. Exhale. Bend the elbows. Elbows are pointing towards the feet. Lowering down the belly towards the mat. Keeping the elbows close to the side body. From here, extend or walk both feet back. Ground all of your toes. Pressing the thighs towards the ceiling. Adjust your palms. Your palms are beside the, low, the lowest rib. Belly is pressing towards the spine. Lifting the sternum. Rolling the shoulders back. Lifting the chin. Cobra. Exhale. Release. Inhale. Tuck your toes. Roll your torso up until you're half plank. You're welcome to stay on the half plank. You're also welcome to press yourself up to your tabletop. Exhale, tuck your toes, extend the leg, lift the knees off of the ground, lifting the hips towards the ceiling, lowering down the heels towards the ground, downward facing dog. Checking your knee, if they are tracking with your second toe, pressing the thighs towards the back of the room, lifting your hips towards the sky, belly presses towards the spine, spreading your shoulders wide, lifting the forearms, and pressing on your finger knuckles. On the next inhalation, look forward, bend both knees, and slowly walk forward towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway left, Ardha Uttanasana, you're welcome to hold on to your shins. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana, you're welcome to place your palms onto your calves. And inhale, bending the knees. Roll up, swing your arms up. Urdhvastasana, exhale, hands on the side. That's the first option. Inhale, lift the arms. Tadasana, second option. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, palms down. Bend both knees, step the right foot back. <coughs> followed by the left. Lean forward and as you exhale, you're welcome to lower down the knees and slowly bring down your belly towards the ground. If not, if you want more, inhale, lean forward and then slowly lower down your belly towards the ground with straight legs, keeping the elbows close to the side body. <clears throat> inhale. Walk your feet back, prepare for your cobra, pressing all of your toes, contracting the quads, pressing the belly towards the spine, adjusting the palms, align them with your lowest rib, inhale, lift the chest, lift the sternum, roll your shoulders back, lift the chin, one more inhalation and extend the arms, pressing all of your toes. Contracting the thighs. Upward facing dog. From upward facing dog, exhale, roll the toes. You may flip your feet and lift the hips up. 
downward facing dog. Hold the breath here, keeping the alignment of your feet, your knees, your arms, your fingers. Pressing more on the mound of your thumb and your pointer finger and the finger knuckles. On the next inhalation, look forward, bend both knees. You may walk forward or sit low and step the right foot forward on top of the mat, followed by the left, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, foot, inhale, roll up, reaching the arms high, and exhale, hands on to the side. Okay, full, sal full sun salutation here. On the third one, you're welcome to follow the first, the modified sun salutation. Inhale, reaching the arms high. Exhale, fold. Halfway left. Exhale, palms down. We, you may add jumping back. Inhale, bend and jump back. Lifting the tailbones. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, let's all meet on our downward facing dog. Breathe here. Checking the alignment of your feet, spreading your shoulders wide, lifting the forearms off of the ground. Notice if the forearms are rolling towards the mat. Keep them active. Keep the forearms straight and lifted. On the next inhalation, look forward, bend both knees. You may step, you may walk, or step one leg at a time, or you may jump forward, sit low. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold, inhale, roll up, exhale, hands on the side. Last two, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, palms down. You may step, walk back, or jump back. Chaturanga, you may add. But, but, but we will all meet on our downward facing dog. Don't forget the breath. Connect your breath with your movement. Few more deep breaths. Inhale, look forward. Or you may, from here, let's stay here. On the next inhalation, look forward, bend both knees. You're welcome to walk or step one leg at a time or jump forward. Halfway left. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to your Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands on the side. Last one. Recover. Reconnect with your breath. Reconnect with your body. Tadasana. Inhale, reaching the arms high. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, palms down. Step back. Walk back. Jump back. Chaturanga or lower down onto the belly. Inhale to your cobra or to your upward facing dog. Exhale on your downward facing dog. Let's breathe here. Align your ears with your arms. Spread your shoulders wide. Belly presses towards the spine. Drop the knee with the second toe. On the next inhalation, look forward, bend both knees. You are welcome to walk or step one leg at a time or jump forward, halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands on the side. Now we're done with the sun salutation. I guess your body is already warmed up. So our first, our first uh, pose for today 
will have 10 repetitions per leg. It's a half, it's a modified hasta po dangustasana. Ground your left foot, all the corners of your left foot. Press the left thigh back and inhale, slowly lift the right knee. Look, notice if your right hip is hiking up, lower it down and pull or and draw the right hip back. It will help you lift your right knee more. So from here, inhale and as you exhale, you will fold and unfolding, you are bringing your right leg back, extending towards the back. Right angle is flexed, toes are pointing down, and keeping the hips level, you're welcome to stay here, or arms on the side, and inhale up, release. Okay, that's our first, we'll do 10 on the right leg, and 10 on the left leg. You ready? Tadasana, you may stay on the middle of your mat. You're welcome to hold on to your hips. Inhale, ready, lift the right knee up. And as you exhale, firm the right leg. Exhale, fold, extending the right leg, flexing the right ankle. You're welcome to open your arms on the side. Inhale up. You're welcome to rest your right leg down or keep it lifted and proceed to the second round. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, pull up. Exhale, release. Inhale, raise the right knee. Exhale, fold and extend the right leg. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, release. That's three. Inhale, raise the right leg, right knee. Exhale, fold and extend the leg back. Inhale, come up to standing and release. That's four. Six more times, you may Shake the left leg. Inhale, raise the right knee. Exhale, fold and extend. Inhale, up to standing, release. Five. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, up and release. Six. Inhale, exhale, extend. You're welcome to slightly bend the knees. Inhale, stand. Release. Seven. Last three. Inhale. Right knee up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Release. Eight. Last two. Inhale, raise the right knee. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up to standing. Release. Other side. I know your left foot is already in pain. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, fold. Inhale up and release. Other side. I'll just switch the view. Tadasana. Hands on the hips, inhale, lift the left knee, firm the right thigh, exhale, fold. Toe, right toe, left toes are pointing down, left inner leg is rolling in, inhale, come up to standing, release, one, inhale, lift, exhale, fold, inhale, up. Come back to standing. Okay. Let's do it a couple of times. And ready. Sorry. It's 
straining and I'm becoming inhale lift the right knee and left knee exhale fold keep the right left leg straight inhale come up to standing and release one more time inhale raise the left knee exhale fold inhale up and release that's four six more times inhale raise the right left knee exhale fold sometimes you will notice one the, the other side is more stable than the other side and that is normal inhale raise the left knee exhale fold inhale come up to standing release that's six last four inhale lift exhale fold inhale up to standing release exhale seven last three inhale raise exhale fold inhale and release one so my right leg is more stable than the left last two inhale lift the left and exhale fold or i mean my left leg is more stable than my right leg and release last one inhale lift the knee exhale fold inhale roll up to standing and hands on the side Whew, how are you guys so from here we'll go to our chair feet are hip width wide distance we'll go down onto our chair three times or, or, or we'll go down onto our chair on three counts hold and then three counts and going up keep the arms up so let's do this five rest and then five more when you come down onto your chair bend as you bend your knees fold your hips and draw your hips back you may lift all of your toes to ground all corners of the feet your knees keep them stable by tracking it over the ankles if they slow if they slowly fold forward they can only fold forward until they are in line with the toes if they reach further more it's taxing to your or it's not already healthy to your knee joints so as much as possible keep the knees over the ankles inhale reach the arms up as you exhale one slowly sit low two and three sit low as low as you can keep the belly pressing towards the spine so that your back is not tilting inhale one reach up two three and stand arms on the side that's one so three counts lowering down three counts coming up that's one let's do five arms up inhale exhale sit low one sit low two sit low three hold inhale come up one two and three up that's two sit low one two three hold up one two three and up that's three one two three hold one two three four one two three hold one two three and release okay shake your legs before we proceed with another five uh, another five repetitions and ready hip width wide reaching the arms up inhale three counts lowering down and one two three hold belly in one two three up one one two three 
hold, one, two, three, up, two, one, two, three, hold, belly in, one, two, three, up, that's three, one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, up, that's four, last one, one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, and up. Hands on the side. Whew. You may drink water. You may you may wipe your sweat from the face. Okay, our third. So from the dasana, step your right foot back. Focus on your feet. The sides of your feet are parallel to the sides of your mat. Depends on how hard you want your, work, your legs to work. If it's the normal stance for the prasarita, lift your arms to a T pose and then measure and see or see if your ankles are under your wrists. If not, if you want it to, if you want to just stay easy, a narrow stance is also welcome. Okay, from here, inhale and turn your toes out. Turn the right toes out first, then followed by the left. And inhale, reach the arms up, sit low, pushing your drawing your hips back, opening your knees wide. Arms, exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, reach your arms up. Let's do that. Exhale, bend the knees, draw your hips back, bend the elbows. Inhale, reach up, extend the legs. Exhale, bend your knee, draw your hips back, bend the elbows. I'll just show you on the other angle. This is the third. Toes are pointing up. Exhale, draw your hips back. Bend the elbows, cactus arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. That's four. Exhale, sit low. Open the knees wide. Inhale, reach up. That's five. Last five. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, up. Six, last four. Exhale, down. Inhale up, last three. Exhale down. Inhale up, last two. Exhale down. Open the knees wide. Inhale up, last one. Exhale, sit low. Inhale, reach up. Arms on the side. Turn your toes in. Slightly bending the elbow, uh, bending the knees, and step your feet towards the middle of your mat. That's our third, that's our third pose for today. So let's go with the fourth. Let's start with our Tadasana. Okay, from here, wait, let's start at the bottom side of our mat. We will have our walk planks or downward facing walk. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, and as you inhale, walk your palms until you come up, you come to your plank. And as you exhale, you're welcome to lower down the knees, untuck your toes, Lower down the belly towards the ground. Lift the palms up. Keep the elbows stuck to your midline. Exhale, palms down. Adjust your palms to the lowest part of the rib. Keep looking down to keep the neck long. You are welcome to press yourself to your half plank. From the half plank, tuck your
your toes, extend the knee, and walk your palms towards the feet. Halfway left, exhale, fold. That's one. Inhale, halfway left, and as you exhale, walk your palms until you come to your plank. Inhale here, exhale. You're welcome to lower down, lean forward, lower down straight, lower down the belly towards the ground. And lift the palms up, keep the elbows tucked in, press the palms down, adjust your palms, inhale. You're welcome to press yourself to half plank or to your tabletop. Or you're also welcome to press yourself to plank, full plank. When you press yourself to full plank, tuck your toes, lift the thighs off of the ground. Inhale and press. Exhale, walk your palms back to the feet. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, fold. And walk your palms back and come to your plank let's just do five of this lower down your hips you're welcome to do half plank lean forward rest the knees down or slowly lower down the belly towards the ground lift both palms up tucking the elbows in rest the palms down beside your lowest rib you're welcome to come up to your half plank or to your full plank. Inhale, press up. Exhale, walk your palms back. Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Last two. Exhale, walk your palms forward. Come to your plank. Inhale on the plank. Exhale, lower down. Lift the arms up, inhale, exhale, press the palms down, inhale, press yourself to plank or half plank or tabletop, exhale, walk your palms back, inhale, halfway left, last one, exhale, walk your palms forward, come to your plank, slowly, Lower down the belly. Your choice. Half plank, full plank. Inhale. Untuck your toes. I forgot that. Lift your palms up. Keep the elbows tucked in. Release the palms down. Beside the lowest rib. You're welcome to come up to your tabletop. Half plank. Or inhale. Press yourself up. Plank. Exhale. Walk your palms back. Halfway left, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, fold, inhale, roll up to your Urdhva Stasana, exhale, hands on the side. Okay, let's breathe here, let's reconnect with ourselves, have some wrist stretch if you feel like your wrists are painful. Let's breathe here. Let's do five more. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, walk your palms forward. Plank. Exhale, lower down your choice. Inhale, lift the palms, untuck your toes. Exhale, rest the palms down, tuck your toes. You're welcome to your choice of half plank, tabletop, or full plank. Inhale, press. Exhale, walk your palms back towards the feet. Halfway lift, inhale. As you exhale, walk your palms and come to your plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, untuck the toes, lift the palms up. Exhale, release the palms down. Tuck your toes. Inhale, press. 
your choice. Exhale, walk your palms back to your feet. Halfway left, inhale. Exhale, fold, walk your palms forward. Plank. Exhale, lower down. Lift the arms and tuck the toes. Inhale. Exhale, release the palms. Tuck your toes. Inhale, press your choice. Exhale, walk your palms back. Last two. Inhale, halfway lift. You may stay here. Have some couple of breaths. And as you exhale, walk your palms forward. Come to plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, untuck the toes. Lift the palms up. Exhale, press the palms down, tuck the toes. Inhale, press. Exhale, walk your palms back to your feet. Halfway lift. Inhale, last rep. Exhale, fold. Walk your palms forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, untuck the toes, lift the palms up. Exhale, lower down the palm. Inhale, press up. Exhale, walk your palms back. Halfway lift. Inhale, stay here. We'll walk your palms forward again and we'll prepare ourselves for the next pose. Inhale here. As you exhale, walk your palms forward. Come to plank. And slowly lower down your body towards the ground. We'll have some locust pose. So you're welcome to bring the arms on the side. The palms are turning up towards the ceiling. You may rest your right cheek first onto the ground. Have some couple of breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Two more times, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Last one, inhale, exhale. Now let's go back to breathing in and out through the nose. Turn your head towards the ground. Chin back to center. From here, you're pressing all of your toes. And just rest the arms down. Or if you want, or if you want more, roll your shoulders back and interlace your fingers. The action of your fingers is they're pulling your shoulders towards the feet. So from here, Let's have our locus pose pulses. Inhale, lift the shoulders up, pressing all of your toes. Exhale, release. One, inhale up. Exhale, release. Let's do them. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Three, inhale up. Exhale, release. Four, inhale up. Exhale, five. Keep pressing all of your toes. Inhale up. Exhale, six. Inhale up. Exhale, seven. Press the thighs towards the ceiling to protect the lower back. Inhale up. Exhale, seven. Inhale up. Exhale, eight. Last two. Inhale up. Exhale, nine. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale, ten. And rest the left cheek onto the mat. Release the fingers. Recover with the breath. From here, bring your palms towards the lowest part of the rib. Inhale and press yourself to your tabletop. 
Let's just have some bird dog. Inhale, extend the right leg. You may rest your right toes onto the ground. Check if your right hip is hiking up, lower them down and keep the hips even. Lift the left arm up. Once you're stable, you may lift the right leg up and release. Let's do five times of that and then we'll switch to the other side. Inhale. So you're welcome to lift walk the leg first and the right arm or and then and then the opposite arm next or if it is accessible reach the leg and the arm at the same time inhale reach exhale release if you want to add more inhale extend exhale curl the back and bring the elbow and your knees together inhale extend and release okay, let's do five times of that your choice you can just um, stay on the extended or you may arch the back inhale extend you may stay here or curl and extend curl exhale extend inhale curl exhale extend inhale exhale curl last two inhale extend exhale curl last one inhale extend and exhale curl and release other side catch with your breath catch your breath inhale extend the left leg this time lift the right arm up lift the leg up inhale you may stay here exhale curl or just release inhale extend exhale curl inhale extend exhale curl last two inhale extend exhale curl last one inhale extend exhale curl and extend inhale and release Whew. so from here sit on your mat turn your feet to the side and we'll lie down on our back last one this is the last lie down on your mat assist your torso with the palms remove the hair tie if you have one hold on to the heels we'll do a dynamic bridge keep pressing the shins back so that the knees won't go over the toes when you lift the buttocks pressing from the heels check the alignment of your feet your feet are parallel to the sides of your mat keep the inner legs rolling in inhale just press the palms down inhale lift the buttocks lift the lower back pressing the shins back lift the upper back roll your shoulders towards the ground and then slowly lower down onto the ground that's one let's do ten inhale slowly rolling up pressing the shins back exhale roll down two inhale roll up exhale roll down three inhale roll up keeping the knees parallel exhale roll down four inhale roll up exhale roll down five last five inhale roll up exhale roll down keeping a pause on your in after the inhalation and after the exhalation inhale roll up pause exhale roll down pause seven inhale roll up exhale roll down that's eight last two inhale roll up exhale roll down last one inhale roll up exhale roll down 
Hug your knees to your chest. Roll your back side to side. Lifting the feet, keeping the knees bent. Open your knees wide. Bring the arms in the middle and into or uh, cross your arms and hold on to the outer side of the ankle and swing side to side. Happy baby. Release the hands, bring your knees together, hug the back of your leg or your knees, roll up to your sitting, roll your back one to two, one to three times, and on the fourth, roll up to sitting pose. Extend your legs. So already are cooled down. Flexing the ankles, spreading the toes wide, contracting the quads, palms beside the hips. Hold your shoulders back, keeping the spine straight, aligning the chin with the chest, Dandasana. Let's breathe here. Release. Bend the right knee and slide the right heel towards the right sitting bones. There's a space in between, Wang Pang space in between the foot and the thigh. Inhale and lower down the right knee, pressing the right foot towards the left inner leg. Keep flexing the left ankle. Inhale, reaching the arms high. And as you exhale, lower down the right knee and fold. You're welcome to slightly bend the knees, hold onto the shins or on top of the left foot or on the sides of the left foot and fold. Contracting the biceps to help your torso fold more or fold further. Halfway lift, inhale, release. Let's switch to the other side. Lift the right knee, extend the right leg, slide the left heel towards the left sitting bones. Inhale and exhale, lower down the left knee, pressing the left foot towards the right inner leg, flexing the right ankle, inhale, reaching the arms up, exhale, fold, drawing the leg towards the right hip. You're welcome to slightly bend your knees here. Inhale, roll up, release. Keep flexing the feet. Inhale, reaching the arms high. Contracting the quads to release the hamstrings. Exhale, fold. If the back leg is too tight, slightly bend the knees. Start with a bent knee. Fold onto the sides of the foot or the, the feet or onto your toes. And every and every breath, you may extend and slide your feet straight on your exhalation. Drawing the belly towards the spine to have more space. Inhale, release. Inhale, slide your right heel towards the right sitting bones. There's a space again in between. Inhale, hold the right knee with your left arm. Place the right arm at the back. Let it stay on the fingertips, slightly bending the right elbow. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Make a, a slight tap onto your lower back to remind it to be straight. Lift the sternum towards the sky. Lift your, your crown towards the sky. Slightly lean forward and then slowly as you exhale, Turn to the right. You're welcome to gaze onto the side. If you want more, one more breath. And as you exhale, turn more to the right. You may gaze at the right shoulder. Grounding your right sitting bones. And exhale. Inhale, look forward. Release. Let's switch to the other side. Inhale, slide the left heel towards the left sitting bones. 
keeping the spine straight, light touch on the lower back to remind it to be straight. Hug the left knee with the right arm. Rest the left arm at the back. Let it stay on the fingertips. Keep your right leg active. Inhale, lean forward and exhale, twist to the left. If you want more, inhale some more. One more time and exhale, twist further to the left. You may gaze at the left shoulder. Inhale, look forward and release. So from here, let's all lie down on our mats. Bend your elbow or bend your knees. If you have a wall beside you or near you, let's have some simple inversion. So sit close to the wall and then slowly lie down on your back. And then slowly lift your legs against the wall. Keep your arms on the T-pose. This is a big pariti karani. If you have a block or a blanket, you may place the blanket under your sacrum. But for now, let's just stay here and rest. more deep breaths. Inhale. You're welcome to stay here longer. But if you want to come out of the pose, slowly slide your feet, bend your knees, and then slowly slide your feet towards the ground. And come up to your sitting pose. Come back to your mat. Bend your knees. Open your knees wide. And then walk your palms back. Lie down on your back. Allowing the knees to lower down onto the ground. Feeling the stretch on your inner legs. Rolling your shoulders towards the ground, opening your arms to a T. Sukta Bada Konasana. You're welcome to stay here. Or you are also welcome to extend your legs, allowing the hips to roll out, the sides of your feet dropping onto the mat. Feeling heaviness on your thighs. Allowing your fingers to curl. Parting the teeth and allow the tongue to spread inside the mouth. Feel heaviness on your forehead, eyelids. Shavasana. You're welcome to stay here longer. And if you want to come out of the pose, slowly make some movements with your fingers, your toes, toes together or feet together, reaching the arms over the head, interlacing the fingers, and have a big stretch. And slowly hug your knees to your chest. 
Extend the right arm over the head and roll to your right side. Resting the head onto the right arm, keeping your knees close to the chest. Press the left palm beside your chest and slowly press yourself up to sitting pose. Crossing the right leg over to the left. Let's close our eyes. Have some recovery breaths. Inhale slowly through the nose. One, two, three. Filling up the chest. Hold the breath. And slowly exhale through the mouth. Having a pause after your complete exhalation. Inhale one more time up to the top of the chest. Hold. Exhale. Hold after your complete exhalation last one inhale exhale and bring your palms together hands to heart bow down the head and i thank you for sharing your time and practice namaste have a good week ahead of you guys bye